Alright, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. And today, guys, it is time for my conference league predictions. So, guys, I want to know your guys' conference league predictions in the comments below, guys. And remember, guys, we're going to be doing daily, uh, we're going to be doing weekly recap streams on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to be discussing about the conference league. And let me know your predictions in the comments below. It will be greatly appreciated. And like I said, guys, we're trying to hit 2K subscribers by the end of the year. So, if you could greatly do. I do that, that would be greatly appreciated. And I might do a special giveaway at the end of the year. And of course, liking the video also helps as well. Helps get the algorithm up. And let's try to get at least uh, 10 likes for this video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, coming in the last place, guys, I have it is the New Saints. I just don't think they're good enough. Quite frankly, honest with you, I think they're one of the worst teams here in the Conference League. And yeah, I'm sorry to say. I just don't see them good enough. 35th, I have St. Galen, another bad team. Um, you know, I believe they're from Switzerland, if I'm not mistaken. I just don't see them doing much here in this one. And, you know, the New Saints, the Welsh team, are representing Europe for the first time ever. At least the first time we're ever getting a Welsh team in Europe. I just don't see these two teams doing well. 34th is Noah. I actually think Noah might actually pick up some points. They won't be as bad as people make them out to be. And respect Noah, guys. Because I've heard a lot of disrespect for Noah. You know, people are like looking at the conference like, guys, this, this is the team that eliminated AK Athens. And we know Athens is a good team. They were in the Europa League last season. So respect A and respect Noah, man. Respect Noah. But nonetheless, I think Noah will go out. Dinamo Minisk, um, I think will go out as well. Vikon Goregev, they were in the conference league last season. They're going to go out. Uh, Paphos will go out. Malda will go out. Patrick Cobb will go out. Shamrock Rovers will go out. And Jagalino. I would love to see this Polish team do well, but I think it's a bridge too far. 26, I have is Lugano. I think Lugano will be very narrowly, I think they're going to be just about on the precedence of missing out. And at 20 foot, I have is Lauren on five points. Now let's move to the teams that I do think will make the knock around playoffs. So 24th, I have Selge. I think Selge will just about make the playoffs. Rapid Vienna, I think will make the playoffs with seven points. Circle Bruges with seven. 21st with Jersey on. We know they're in the conference like a few years ago. 20th is Omenia. I think Omenia will do well. 19th is Molde. I think Molde will do well. TSC, you know, their second season ever in European competitions, I believe. So it'll be nice to see if they can get a knock around playoffs this time around. 7th place, AJK. I think AJK finally have a decent and doable fixtures. Astana are a good team, guys. I respect Astana. Astana are a good team. 8 points. Istanbul, Basakshir should do it. Fit 9 and 9 points. Legia Warsaw, a team that's been competing in the European Cup for the last couple of seasons. I think they'll do it. Uh, then, yes, I actually have Hart of Mithalan doing it. I know this might seem like a crazy prediction, but I actually think Hart of Mithalan will pick up most of the points at home. Uh, then Boraj, Banka, uh, Banja Luka, I think we'll get 10 points. Olympia is a good, strong team, 11 points. Then LESK, 11 points in the Europa League last season. And then Applewell will miss out on the top eight with 13 points. So, yeah, we got, we got fairly strong teams here. You know, I think some of these teams, um, you know, may get, but I'm, I'm like I said, I'm confident with these teams. I'm not so confident with the order. The order is very difficult. But as far as the top eight, I have a clear mind, a picture in mind. And now we get to the top eight. Eighth place, I have is Vitoria. I think Vitoria is a very underrated team. They're a good team in Portugal. I would say they're probably the fourth best team in Portugal behind, you know, Benfica, Porto, and Sporting. And you could even argue Braga as well. You know, um, actually, I would say probably fifth best, uh, but still, they're they're st still a strong team. Heidenheim and the first season of European competitions will be amazing. I think they'll get 14 points. I think they'll do well. And Chelsea, yes, I actually have Chelsea to a bit struggle. I think Chelsea will struggle into particular two games. I think there'll be two games where Chelsea will struggle, which will be Heidenheim away, and I think Panathinaikos away. I think they'll get draws in those games, but they should win the rest of the other games. Uh, Panathinaikos, very tough Greek team. You know, I think they're going to get 14 points. And, of course, remember, guys, this is the same team that won the Greece League. So, shout out to them. At the fourth, I have is Ghent. I think Ghent will get 15 points. A very strong team in your, your conference league in the last couple of years. And I believe they're the only team that's competed in a conference league in every single edition. At the Copenhagen, 15 points. I think they'll do it. Fiorentina, 16 points. You know, I think they're a good, strong team. And the first Real Betis, I think Real Betis will win all their games. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this quick little video, guys. It was a very... A con concise video so i want to know your guys predictions comments below and let me know what you guys think in the comments below please want to like and subscribe and peace out